Hi there, Dr. Sheep here. Welcome back to our Cheese X episode 172. I'm your host, Dr. Sheep, Joe, my co host, and I'm his Phil. Again? Again, always again. All oh, right, yeah. roll the intro. I thought I uh, switched. Oh, I was going to do something. That's... <laughs> Well, well, well. How are you? Oh, I'm doing all right. You? Oh, you know, it's, it's Monday. The eclipse is yeah. looking bleak. Yeah, I know. I can't believe yeah. it. The whole country. Yeah. Yep. It, Everywhere. It, it, it's like the weather knows we want to do something. Yes. So it finds a way to punish us. Well, well, it's just us. It's like everyone. What? It's everyone. Yeah. It's like everybody wants to go somewhere. And so they, uh... They torture us. Yeah. So I mean, so uh, I wonder how many. What? So I wonder how many reservations will be canceled. I don't know. I uh, can you cancel reservations? That's the thing. And get sure money you back. Can. Where if there's a fee, you don't get one hundred percent of your money back. Yeah. So, I, uh, I mean, some people may find it, you know, better to just cancel, lose $35 or whatever it is, and uh, rather than driving out nine hours for nothing. But it's about the journey, right? Because then you can go to work and make that money back. I mean, I have paid time off, so, you know. Which reminds me. But no, but it's, uh, I don't know. Are, are we just going to go regardless? Is that what? No. What? No. What do you mean no? Well, you've got to go somewhere where it's not cloudy. If it's literally cloudy everywhere, where are you going to go? Well, we go somewhere just in case. I want to... Oh, no, sure, I know where it's partly cloudy, but not where it's cloudy. Oh, well, yeah. If that's... it's literally cloudy everywhere, I'm not going anymore. Well, uh, well I want to go. I want to go but regardless. Go. What? You don't need me. I need your car. I can't afford to go by myself, probably. Uh, we can't take my car right now. Whose car are we taking if we can't take yours? Uh, let's hope we need a new one. Pick up the rain. The rain is... Well, we can't take mine because we will. <laughs> it will cut. This trip will cost way more if we take mine. I think I it'll, it'll probably that. cost us a lot with with Kyle's car too. What's wrong with your car? Uh, it, it's gonna be in the shop. For what? Uh, two weeks ago I was rear ended. At a stoplight. You, you're what at a stoplight? I, I just heard you were at a stoplight. I was rear-ended at a stoplight. Oh. There's about $8,000 worth of damages. Oh, my God. Yeah, the, back, the back end is destroyed. Why didn't you talk? Why didn't you tell me this Saturday or Friday? It never came up. I feel like this would have this would have been something you would have mentioned to somebody, but like, hey, I got rear-ended cases. Yeah, I told my parents. I don't know, it's something, I, I, it never came up in conversation, so I just never brought it up. Oh, I wish you had mentioned this sooner. It, so is Kyle coming then? Is Yeah, yeah, he can go. Okay, so he, he said screw work? No, 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 they let him go. 
He would not have gone if they said no. You cannot go. Well, no, they said they were. You said they were strong arming him, and it was up to his decision. No, I did not say that. I said that he doesn't know. They have. They're deciding if they if they don't need him or not. Oh, it made it sound like they were just strong army strong arming him into go into staying behind. Like he had a choice. Oh, well, they were. They told him he need. They told him they need him to work. But then they told him, "No, we don't need you. Actually, we have it covered." Okay. So I guess if, if he would not have been able to go, he would not have gone if they said no. So I guess we're taking your brother's car then. He is, he is not the type to say no to them. So I he guess says, we're taking your your brother's car then. Yeah. I mean, if he's okay with that. I hope so. Otherwise, this trip's going to cost us a lot of money. And I have to get my oil changed before we go. I'm because <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm just telling you what the situation is. Yeah, I wish you had said something sooner. I would have changed my oil this weekend. It never came up. You can still change it this weekend. You Not if we decide to leave a day early. Why, why do we need to leave on Saturday? If we want to spend time in Arkansas, if Arkansas is the best place. I had mentioned that before. I don't think there's any need to. What do you mean? Why not? I mean, that's what I was getting at. There's no need to. Though. I know why there's no need to, but why not? If we're going to drive all the way out there, we might as well have a bit of fun. Instead of just drive all the way out there, sleep in a hotel, wake up the next morning, watch for two hours, leave. That was my plan. Why? We have two days beforehand. That's so unnecessary. We're all off Saturday and Sunday. Why not do something with that extra time? That's why I took Tuesday and Wednesday off. Because I didn't think we were going to come back in the same day of the eclipse. All those months ago. I told you. Which I know I can't get back now. Whatever. I don't care. I told you that. I have other shit I need to do anyways. But we still have the extra day. And I thought when we were originally planning that, hey, look, we have an extra day. Why not do something if we can? Yeah, if we can. But I'm saying we don't need to. I think we should regard if, if we're going to if we end up going to Arkansas or maybe Indiana or a new state for everybody, we should do something. I mean, if it's possible. Well, why would you? Not if it's going to cost you an arm and a leg. Why? That's oh, if we have to take my truck. What? Well, yes. you better text your brother and ask him. We should be, like, conversing. Like, this I, I information should have been it. spread. What? All this information should have been shared so we're all updated on the situation. Now, not now we're missing... Bit, now I was, this should have been updated. Especially since you're usually, your car is usually what we're taking. I know it shouldn't have to be that way, but it's just the way it is. So... That's where I'm at. I know. It just didn't come up. <laughs> but you... Uh, uh, if I got rear-ended, I would tell everybody. It wouldn't be something... Oh, somebody asked. I'm sorry. That's not the way I work. I see that now. I... So you said it was two weeks I'm not, ago? I'm not the type to go around and, you know... No, but I'll, I'll go back, though. Go back. Story. But you got rear-ended two weeks ago? Uh, we... Yes, two weeks ago. Uh, and so I take it this is the only time the shop can get you in? No, I'm waiting for... I No, it's not that. I'm waiting for the insurance things to get figured out, so I'll cover it. Oh. And, until State Farm approves the quote, uh, I can't do anything. Because it's eight thousand dollars, they may they may deny the quote and total the car. Fucking insurance. And so I don't know. And so they're still deciding. Oh, if they decide they... to total the car, then I can't fix it. I have to go out and buy a new car with the money they give me. Oh, so they're deter so they so they're trying to figure out if your car is worth eight thousand dollars. It definitely, it definitely, it. I think it's worth at least sixteen. 
And uh, in the state of Nebraska, total was 75%. So it should definitely be covered. The repair should. But that's not up to me to decide. That's up to them. Man, imagine you have to buy another car. It is what it is. Jesus. It is what it is. So do we know what, what the, the, some jackass was just on their phone then, I take it? No, I don't know what he was doing. You didn't talk to him? No, I did. He, 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 he said that he was looking behind him. I don't know what he actually was doing. He said he was looking behind him, wasn't paying attention, and then, you know, he had to stop. Looking behind That's him. That's what he said to me. Yeah, he yeah, okay. looking. Looking behind me. Yeah, sure. No one looks behind them for is? that fucking long. I wouldn't believe the word the bastard said. Looking behind. Nobody looks behind them that No, I, I think what happened is he didn't want to stop. The light turned yellow. I, I stopped, you yeah. know. And I think he just wanted to keep on going, and then he wasn't prepared to stop. I don't know. Well, either way, he's a douche. Either A, he was on his phone... Not fucking paying attention, which is like a pretty damn good chance. I, I don't believe that because he had his he had his wife in the car. If anything, he's talking to her. True. Usually, you usually don't text and drive when you have someone in the car. Usually, they're doing the texting and driving for you, especially not wife. not always, not always. <laughs> Trust no, I don't, me, I I don't think there's a reason for you to be texting and driving when your wife's in the car. She could be the one handling all that for you. I mean, you know I mean? tried to have other people text for me. But I never liked the wording they use, so I always end up doing it anyways. But they're also a friend, not like your wife. Still, I, I, I still, I even my wife, I probably still wouldn't trust her to write, text. It. I don't care who it is. Sometimes I just, I tell you, this is how I want it worded, and then they decide, oh, I don't like that wording, and they change it. It's like, why are we doing this? No, I bet you he was on his phone. Not he was an older. He was a boomer. I don't believe it. Uh, oh, you left that detail out. A boomer. Yes. Hmm. So maybe, maybe he's just fucking well, I told you old then. I figured he was doing all that. It was obvious enough that he was older. He's fucking, he's probably zoned out. His wife didn't say... That's weird that even his wife did. They must have. They must. They probably were talking, because like I feel like his wife. Would be, That's what I'm saying. I was not on his phone. He was talking. Carl, hit the brakes. They must have been talking to each other, or she was on her phone. He wasn't fucking paying attention because looking behind him, my ass. Whatever the case may be, you know, shit happens. It is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Move on. Yeah. Yeah. Can't change it. Uh, get over it. And that's kind of my whole take on it. Is what it is. Well, I look. Well, we might have now. a new. <laughs> we might have another new car for the next trip. <laughs> no. How does this work with your warranty? Then you fucked on the warranty now. The warranty's been paid off. What? Yes, the warranty's been paid off. No, I thought the whole point. No, because the reason why we wanted to rent instead of take your car was because of the warranty. Well, yeah, because I had a limited number of miles I could go before I'd lose it. Right, so my question is, how does an accident affect the warranty? Well, I'm sure I'd have to buy a new one. Oh, a new warranty. I mean, unless I buy it from Honda, I don't, I, don't know, I don't know if they can transfer it right now. Oh, wait, hold, so wait, so the, the warranty does terminate, though. If, if, if there's an accident, right? If that's what I'm under, am I understanding that right? I don't know. If, oh. if I don't buy from Honda, then yeah, I'd terminate because I didn't. I don't have the car anymore. It, it would. It would. It would no longer be in my possession. Well, no, I'm not talking if about the Honda, I'm not talking about if you get another car. I'm talking about the same car. They just have to fix it. No, that won't affect the warranty. Why would? I don't know. That's why I asked. I don't know anything about warranties. That's why I no. asked. Well, I don't. To me, it shouldn't affect it. Could I still That's have a car that's still under eight miles? It, it, it I don't it. know. Maybe because now that it's been almost totaled, a manufacturer would be like, "Oh, if anything happens afterwards, we shouldn't be liable anymore." Because now no, it's like, oh, they had things. What? 
I'm reliable for certain things. Not everything on the car gets covered. Well, yeah, but like, I don't know. I've pre I'm pretty sure as a manufacturer, it's pretty easy to say, oh, well, there was this significant damage. It could have jostled this and that. We're no longer liable for anything that happens to the car. Maybe. I don't quite have to talk to them. Yeah, I, I would definitely ask. Hopefully it doesn't terminate, but if it does terminate, but they're still able to fix the car, uh, take your car. That sucks. Christ. Well, hopefully they don't... Oh, rip your insurance. Your insurance is going to go up. Mine shouldn't. It always does. You, people no. say it shouldn't, but my it does. Said, my dad said it shouldn't. Because he used to the same insurance, and he's had things like this happen to him, and he's never had to go up. If you're not at fault, there's no reason why it should. I suppose. I don't know. I've been told that. Uh, so yeah, I got. Into, oh, it's remember, I got okay, off, yes. The last accident I was in, it was my fault. Well, the second to last accident. The last one, they. I don't even know what happened. The, that was so weird. I remember that. Remember that guy I backed into, or. Collided um, with that yeah. uh, last January. Mm -hmm. So I never, nothing ever did come of that. I don't know if he just decided to not continue with the claim or what happened. Because, like, I, my. Do you not have any damage to fix? For whom? Me or him? For you. I didn't fuck. I have a plastic bumper. It took it made a little bit of a gouge in it. Oh, I could have fixed it with a blow. That's what I was asking. Huh? That's what I was asking. I didn't know what kind of damage you had. I can't afford it anyways, even if I wanted to. They would have been like, "Well, we gotta take the whole bumper off. That would cost you a thousand dollars." And I'd be like, "No, pass." So. Because that bumper, it has lights in it, and that would have to be rewired. I'm sure all the freaking sockets they're attached to is rustier than sin, so they probably couldn't even fix it even if they wanted to. They'd probably be like, you want to just blowtorch it shut? I've been like, I could do that at home with a stick. <laughs> but uh, that's unfortunate. Well, what are you hoping for? Are you hoping for new car are you hoping for that they can get it fixed and life will be back to normal yeah i, I prefer if they can fix it i don't want to go out and go to car shopping again true true wish i'd fucking get rear-ended god so i get f although i wouldn't get any money i'm only covered in liability so if it tolls i'm just out of car so it's a what do you mean? Yeah, their insurance would have to pay for the value of the car. No, I no, not lie. I don't have. I only have. I don't have. I only have liability. I only it only is covered if it's my fault. They don't cover the damage of my car if if it's not my fault. No, no, your insurance one. The other is the other people's insurance one. Oh. Hopefully. That's how this works. Yeah, but My either way, I'm not, not going to get shit in return. The, car, the other person's insurance would. Either way, I don't think my vehicle's worth more than a few thousand dollars. Although, although, if I'm rear-ended bad enough, well, it wouldn't take much, to be honest. If I'm rear-ended, the perceived value of the car could be higher because the insurance wouldn't know that it goes... They don't know about that problem. That's true. They don't know That's about true. that problem. So the perceived value of the car would go up. It's still not enough for me to get a new car. It's enough to get the same piece of shit. You know, just move the, you know, just to move the, move the, maybe the odometer back and the years back a, l a little further, but that'd be about it. Uh, so, like I said, 
it, it's a, it's a win lose situation. It's a lose because well now I have to fucking pay a car payment, but it's a win because I can finally get rid of the piece of shit and I have an excuse to get a new car. Yep. Because right now the only excuse is well it's gonna cost you something at some point to fix it, and I'm like yeah, but right now it doesn't cost me anything to fix it. Well, we, actually, we really need to hope that your brother will let us take your car because I have to fucking get a new oil plug and. So, I, I don't know if, you know, everyone will just carry an oil plug for my car on hand. So, yeah. so I guess I need to fucking, I don't even have time this week. I don't even have time to go do that. I got it because. Saturday. What? Saturday. What day? Saturday. Not if we, I want to leave, not if we want to go for two days. There is no, that's why I said there's no time to do it this week. We can't take mine. There probably isn't time. If I can't get a plug. No. But I really don't if have time. My brother time. says no, we have no other choice. What? I said if my brother says no, we have no other choice. Well, we have to get the oil changed in my car. I'm not, can't, it literally, need, it's over the limit. It needs to be changed. That's what I'm saying. You do it Saturday. That's why. I, then I have to do it myself. I'm trying to not do that. Like I said, we can't really can't take mine. Because if I can't get the part, we can't take mine. Because I can't change the oil then. If I can't get the part. find the part. If I can't, I don't have time to go look for a part. That's the problem. I gotta get my hair cut tomorrow. I gotta edit this Wednesday. I got a meeting Thursday. <coughs> and then Friday, I have to fucking change the oil. There's no time. How long will it take to look for a part? The problem is, if what if they don't have the part? It's not a question. It doesn't take long to go find it. It's a matter of yeah, what you're saying. If you, order one, if you order one today, have it on order. It be here by the end of the week. You hope. Well, you better you... go look. Well, I also don't have time to go look for a part. What are you doing right now? Because all the places are going to be closed by the time I can actually have time to go. You can look online. No, I, I'd rather just go in person and be... I, I don't want to order it. I also don't have fucking money to order parts right now, either. I actually don't even have money to change oil. That's 50 fucking bucks. No, it's... It's 30 for oil, plus 12... Yeah, it's, it's fucking 50 bucks to change oil. I don't exactly have 50 bucks right now. So, we can't take my car, unfortunately. Did you get paid Saturday? Or at the beginning of the week? Yeah, I got paid. It all went to my rent. Oh. Some of us don't have the luxury of our rent being less than a one paycheck. Yeah. My rent is oh, is literally nine, less than 90 bucks more. Sorry, less than... My paycheck was less than $90 more than my rent. And all my bills came due this week. Every damn one. LES, Black Hills, they all came due this week. That's all my other fucking auto pays because it was a new quarter. Fucking annoying. Literally everything mm -hmm. came due. And I'm currently yeah. working on other projects that I need to get done before the end of April. I am out of money. I can pull from Define my... need. Huh? Define need. Well, I already have the parts, so it doesn't matter. Oh. Um. I bought the parts before I needed... Before I knew that, oh, yeah, I might have to drive my truck. Otherwise, I would have been like, okay, fuck the parts. So, I also have to get gas at some point. Fuck. Wait, am I on 160? Oh, I'm on 160. I'll have to get gas tomorrow. Wednesday, I guess. I don't have a choice. 
because I'll, I'll put on 100 miles tomorrow. We'll be on fumes getting to Murphy's tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, but it is what it is. Now I have to get gas. There's, there's an express auto right there. I guess I'll just go in there and see if they have the part. I'd rather go to O'Reilly's, but, you know, whatever. You go where you can go to fix your vehicle, I suppose. This is very unfortunate. This trip is going to cost us a lot more. I guess we could tell Kyle this if he wants to. If we want to take my car, people got to chip in for the oil change and parts. Well, oil change. I'm not going to make it chip in for parts. Just the oil change. Five dollars each should help ease the pain. Yeah. That'll cover half the oil. Well, Hopefully half. Ho hopefully oil hasn't gone up too much. If we absolutely have to take mine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I also just don't like talking about stuff like that. But, you know. What? I said I also just don't like talking about stuff like that. I see. Why is that? Oh, just funny. Is that why you always say nothing ever happens at work? I mean, granted, you don't work with people, so there there really isn't uh, a lot that could go on. But is it the same part of the brain? Yeah, I mean, I just like talking about the good stuff and the bullshit. I mean, I only like talking about it if it's funny. Otherwise, I don't like bringing it up. But the people, the people subscribe to this for realism. They want to hear the good times, the bad times, the worst times. They want to hear you bitch. They want to hear you complain. That's what they subscribe for. Uh, I 15, don't. Uh, what? I don't. Yeah, but the most the most viewed videos on this channel are us bitching about HOAs. That's because you have a gripe with them. Don't you? I mean, I'm indifferent just because I don't have a house, so I can't really speak on them. On the behalf of what it's like to be a part of an HOA, so... Well... We're in awkward time here. There's still time left. But, oh well, we'll start the subject. We'll just make it fast. So, I uploaded uh, a short today, since it's April Fools. Yeah. And the short is titled, My Last Video Ever. It's like a 20 second short, not 20, 30 second short, stating that I'm done. I'm no longer doing any... Uh, other shorts or videos ever goodbye uh it it's gotten the views are a little uh, like slightly under what we were getting before for the previous videos uh but not but like it got these views faster than some of those other ones uh but the likes and dislikes oh boy it has 14 likes I don't know if that's a if I don't know if that's people being like, thank God this guy's done, or if that's people realizing it's April Fools, and liking it because it's funnier. I don't know how to read that. Although fifty six percent, only fifty six percent of people have liked it, so there's at least thirteen dislikes. I think is how that's read. Yeah, thirteen dislikes. So I would take it that's. Well, there's usually a dislike or two on all these shorts or more. <laughs> uh, so there's that to take into account. And then the extras, I'm not sure where they're coming from. That's hard to pin down. What do you think? I don't know. The, the, the dislikes on these shorts are insane. I don't know why they're so high. 
I think it's really, I think it's Neil deGrasse Tyson. I think people just really hate Neil deGrasse Tyson. I know he he posts some cringe memes, but I underestimated the hate for Neil deGrasse Tyson. People must really, really hate him anymore. And it's weird. You only get the people that hate him. You don't get the people that like him watching the videos. What the fuck's with that? Yeah. On the bright side, the main channel videos got 69 views. Nice. Uh, that's all right. It's It went the whole first fucking day without a damn view. That wasn't until like... Was it late last... Yeah, it was late last night when I posted the short saying, Hey, I have a fucking video up, idiots. And then people actually went and watched it. But I went, so, like, I've been struggling to, uh, oh, it doesn't fucking know. God, this is so fucking annoying. What? How does a video, hold on. So the video saying, I'm done, I'm quitting YouTube, got me four subscribers. How the fuck does that work? I don't know what to tell you. Who's like, oh yeah, this guy's quitting. Subscribe. What? What? Maybe they're trying to boost your morale. Maybe people. Maybe maybe people felt bad for me. I don't know. I will say the channel's been stuck at nine twenty six. It's been fluctuating between nine twenty four and nine twenty seven. It's now finally at 9... It was at 9.33 or 9.32. I think it was 9.32. Let me double check here. 9.33. Even better. <laughs> so it's, now it's at 9.33. So that's... That's more tolerable. Uh, much more tolerable. So, yeah. But for those of you that haven't, go watch the new main channel video. Um, oh, are you back on YouTube now that uh, Lent's over? Yeah, I decided. I well, when you do, you can go watch my, my latest video. What is that? What? What is that? It's the, when I make the pinhole eclipse viewers. You can watch me almost maim myself. Mm. There is a moment in the video where I almost maim myself with tools. See. Yeah, it's interesting. My uh, my coworker said he liked it. He uh, <laughs> he he was like the intro. He was just like, yeah, you gave the intro and then went like, oh, I have nothing else to say, and then just said, roll the freaking intro. I really did. I said, we're gonna do this today. Yeah, there's not much else to say. Roll the fucking intro. <laughs> oh my god. Which is so funny because the, the video I, we talked about last week, I haven't even fucking started. I haven't even done an intro for it yet. I've literally started construction, but I haven't actually done an intro yet. Although, the, the box is, I have all the supplies bought now. I got wood filler, glue, plywood, screws. Well, I didn't, I didn't, I'm not using screws. But angle brackets, bolts, nuts. It's ready to go. Just, uh, just need time. I don't fucking have time. Uh, I suppose we can, I guess we should probably just text your brother. I'll just text your brother now. Uh, do, 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 do. Could we use your car? For this trip. Insert name here. Well, what an interesting podcast. I certainly was not expecting this unfortunate and terrible news i am so sorry to hear that it sounds unsincere but it's as sincere as i can sound i appreciate that 
Yeah. It's 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 a real problem I have. My sincerity sounds like sarcasm. My sarcasm sounds like sincerity. It's a pain in the ass. Although maybe that's the goal, right? Your sarcasm sounds so sincere, people can't tell it's sarcasm. Although I think that just makes you a dick at that point. I don't. Yeah, know. pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't be the first time. It won't be the last. Anyways, well, we have finally, I think we have discussed, well, I discussed, you said not much, about my video dilemma. But anyways, go watch the new videos, everybody, even Phil. I might go watch it tonight. I don't know. I have house. And I got to upload tomorrow short. Anyways, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. New podcasts, whatever. I don't know. We got to figure out what we're going to do next week's podcast. It'd be interesting. We have the 360 camera now. Uh, we could almost like put it up like on the dashboard and do like a 360 podcast. Wouldn't that be freaking insane? Hmm? Oh, on, on the dash? Or like in the couple or something. I don't know. We set it up and then we just have a 360 podcast. So like people can look out on the road. They can look at Kyle. They can look at me. They can look at you. You see it all at once? Yeah, it's a 360 camera. Hmm. They can look wherever they want during it. Wait, they choose what direction or they see it all at once? Would the, you can't, so YouTube, well, I mean, I guess you could upload it in a way that would allow them to see everything at once, but that doesn't look very good because everybody's really small. So you just upload it as a 360 video and then everybody can see everything all at once. That's all right. Then they can only see where they choose to look. She had to move the mouse, or how did it work? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ever, ever watched a 360 video on YouTube? No. Oh, I... 360. You don't have to look it up right now. I can... I'm, I'm pulling one up. Okay, here. Oh, wait. Oh, no, let me share my screen. Okay, you see the uh, see the water slide? Yeah, look how I can move the mouse. Now I'm watching behind me, looking at the... Uh, Do you click and drag? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, you could put a VR headset on while this, this is... Fucking with my head, wow. Let's see. But yeah, this is uh this is a three six this is a three sixty video, yeah. Oh, you could also use these little can controls over here. Well she just clip through the interesting. Yeah, but there you go. Yeah, they have 360 videos on YouTube. They're pretty neat. So. Yeah. Well, anyways, that's the end of that. I would like to go off watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Oh, I thought we were further along than this. Never mind. Well, either way, it doesn't matter. Anyways, I'd like to go off watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. New podcasts, like I said, whenever I feel like at noon central, no, whenever I feel like it, every Friday, noon central time, we'll figure out the next one, and good night.